Hello, welcome to Looky Looky Loo. I'm Candace, and I'm here today, and I was just going to show off a couple of books that I got. This is the Bible Reader's Companion, Your Guide to Every Chapter of the Bible, by Lawrence O. Richards. Put that up there like that. Now, I know this ain't a crafty thing, but I was very happy to actually find this little Bible companion. And I just thought somebody out there might be interested if they wanted a Bible companion. I haven't read it yet, but this is Life in Old Testament Times. And it seems to be a very, very good book. It's got little maps all over. It's got uh, key verses, personal applications, key concepts, insight, covenant. You know, it's just... Uh, it appears on the surface to be a very good, helpful study companion here with the Bible. So if anyone was interested or know anything about this book, maybe you would like to, you know, see if you could find one. Or re recommend something better or equal. You know, anyway, I was happy to have it, though I just thought I'd share it with you. Here we go. Hey, I got some other little books. And uh, I got this little book, and this was going to be my little crafty book where I wrote things in. But look, it's real nice. It's got little little dots on all the pages. Look at that. And the pages are thick, and they're kind of a manility color. And my handwriting is so terrible. I decided, but this little book is so nice, I must have to uh, find something better to write in there. You know, <laughs> so I'm saving it. Which is what I do. <laughs> so here we are to the books that have to do with crafting. And I wanted to learn uh, slow stitching. And somehow that translated into embroidery. So this is a book that I got on uh, uh, embroidery stitches. That I thought might help me learn some slow stitching. I'm not quite sure now exactly about all the uh, differences. Let's see. I don't know where I got it. I got it off eBay, y'all. Oh, Bellwether Books. I got it at Bellwether Books. So if anybody's interested. And it's got, it's a pretty good book. And it's got all kind of little pictures in it. I was looking for if this is the one that has the, uh, no, it don't. But it has a whole lot of stuff in it. Uh, but I hadn't read it all yet. Oh, yeah. Here's uh, the different stitches. And there ain't a whole lot of stitches. It goes through a cross stitch, method one and method two, stem stitch, back stitch, straight stitch, French knot, lazy daisy, chain stitch. And those stitches can make whatever they have in this book and on back here I think it's this book they have for the left hand and the right hand or maybe that's the other book that I got but I wanted to show you all these little patterns that they got in there there's the kitchen alphabets come on what you got in the middle well, they don't want me to see Okay, nothing. More alphabets. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Look at those. No words needed. Of course, it has all the instructions. Airplanes, cars, motorbikes, bicycles. There's a little train. A boat. All kind of flowers. Now, these make more sense to me. These kind of pictures with the flowers. Tells you French knot, backstitch, lazy daisy chain, French knot. I think it'll be helpful if anybody is just beginning and hadn't got themselves a book. Maybe this one might be a good one for you. It might not be. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of good books out there. There's little birdies. First, I wasn't sure because the pictures are a little cartoony. Leaves and trees. Simple seeds and pods. 
Deers, look at those deers. Those are nice. Apples and pears and children. Of course, all this is advanced stuff. I can barely make a runner stitch. Little booties. All kinds of projects in here for your pillows and your sachets. Runners. Bags. All kinds of stuff. I, I've been a long time trying to get through this book. Look at that. That's a, that's a whole picture you can put on anything. I imagine you have to make a copy of this. Or, I don't know, I haven't read it. So, more alphabets. Those are big ones. More alphabets. More birds. Only got eight minutes and one more book, so I'm just going to flip quick. But look at there, ladies and their poodles. Towels and bags. and My goodness, look at there. Blue motifs. There's pencils. Pins. Out. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Look at all the birdies. Sea stuff. Beach stuff. My goodness, I think this is going to be a good book. If it's not so much that it becomes confusing. Little angels. Cherubs, I guess, is what we call them. So a lot of stuff in this book. So I'm very pleased with this book. And I'm pretty sure I paid like $6 for it. Oh, look at those white motifs. Good luck charms. Well, that's good to know. Anyway, it's a good little book, and I hope that it helps me out. And that is the uh, A Rainbow of Stitches by somebody, by Delage Cavett. Well, there's four names there. I ain't going to try to say them. So get them up there where you can see them. There you go. This camera does not like close-up, does it? Okay, well, I'm sorry. The rainbow stitches. You'll need to know who made it. Okay, this is uh, 400 plus embroidery stitches. Joan Waldman. For quilts and more. Now, I want to eventually learn how to quilt. I used to try to quilt with my grandma when I was young. And I thought I was quilting. But what she did was let me baste and called it quilting. And this book... Book Fair Foundation Inc. is where I got this. Maybe not. I got it. Isle. No, that's where the book was. Okay, we're back to Book Fair Foundation. That's where I got this book on eBay. <coughs> and this one I like because it has all the stitches right here in the front. And it shows you what the stitch is. Kind of like I have a crochet book and I refer back to the the front page where all the stitches are all the time or else I don't know what their abbreviations mean unless I can go back and look so so this is real handy and it starts out with spacing stitches well that's a good thing to know and like I said I may or may not have any well this one does the left hand and the right hand it's going to be a very good book, I think. This will probably be the one I start out with, because that other one is a little bit intimidating. Yeah, i got five minutes, so we could just kind of take a little flip through. Maybe y'all could see a little bit. Okay, I'll show you this page. And I'll show you that page. Well, maybe we'll just look at this page. That way I can flip through it. It don't show you a picture, a whole picture, but it shows you a little picture. Like over here is the single one, and over here is you putting them together. On the right side here is where you put them together. Look at all these. Those are nice. Now I'll be a slow stitcher from... If I can learn any one of these, man, 
Okay, now I'll be a slow stitching. There's a whole lot of patterns. Now, look at those are nice. They're like little leaves flying above the the flower. The V. I don't know what they would call that. I like this one real well. I don't know what it's called, but I kind of like it. It's got all the little loopy loops in it. Don't look too hard. <laughs> I need them not to look too hard. Well, here's some more. There we go. Wait, let me get you all in there as much as I can. There, now you see all them stitches. Chevron, half chevron, chevron and half chevron stitches. What those are. These are stem stitches. So you do all that with one stem stitch. Well, how about that? And this is straight Hobian. Hobian base and Hobian base. Look at those. This one might be easy. Of course, sometimes the easy ones are, are the harder ones. Oh, that one is real pretty. This is chain and lazy daisy base. These over here are nice. That, that looks pretty simple right there. And all these are made with that daisy chain. So I suspect. I won't know. I ain't, I ain't stitched the thing yet. Except for my. I put a string through my lace. That's all I've done. Uh oh. Two minutes. I just wanted to show you my fly stitch base. All these different stitches. And this one has a lot more pictures and a lot less words. So the two books together, I think I got a pretty good start. And I might have some slow sewing to do. I'm going to watch, rewatch some videos on slow sewing. So I have to copy what someone else did because I have no original ideas of my own. So I thought I'd do that and just share this little book. And of course they got all these little books. That I guess goes with this series. So there you go. So I think I'm set up pretty good for a while. And, and learning how to slow stitch. <coughs> so thank you for coming. And uh, come on back again. I'm glad to have you. So bye bye. See you next time.